Here we are again, my friends. Crusader Kings 3 Elf Destiny. Not, though, as a new character that we've supposed to have been playing as now for quite a few years. Well, every single time I say today is the final day of Queen Faces High One Faces, of course, Empress Faces. Uh, it, something happens, something comes up, whether or not that is a cross-continental war with uh, Genghis Khan, who is now sadly deposed, or uh, whether that is a war with Francia. Francia, of course, attacking us to try and take some very unnecessary territory. We seem to be consistently delayed, and as many of you pointed out in the comment section last time, we can't actually flip over yet, because when we made that new religion, Fea Lille, uh, the problem with that is, uh, if I go over to the religion tab here, not only did not a huge amount of people, not, not, not a huge amount of counties, converted. Enough that I would still be happy flipping cards. That's a minor point. The bigger problem is none of our vassals converted. Uh, very, very, very few of our vassals have converted over. So, before I began recording today, I sent just about 100 messages to our vassals demanding that they convert over. And hopefully this will help deal with the issue. Uh, pretty much every single person has... Um, 100 on their acceptance chance. So I thought I'd do them in batches. Uh, we'll, we'll get all these people converted. And then we'll check the, the, the realm map again. We'll check the character finder and see which characters are not part of our religion at this point. And then we'll just go from there. I mean, the first issue is that a lot of our vassals have protected conversion. So a lot of them simply cannot be converted. So that's something we will have to worry about later down the line. So we've got about half a dozen dukes there that haven't converted. Man, this system sucks. Because when you right-click demand conversion, it closes the menu. And then if you open it back up, let's say we, we open it here instead and click demand conversion, still closes the menu. So it's such a massive amount of effort. And bear in mind, I have done it from the vassals tab already. These are vassals within vassals that don't show up in other menus. So this is... This is not a fun time. So with that then, with the exception of our protected dukes, which to be fair, make up quite a chunk of our realm, every single count besides two have converted. I'm not going to go through all of the barons, forgive me, because that will take the rest of my human life. They'll flip over slowly over time. Anyway, what's going on there? Oh, you got a lovely hat. Uh, more importantly, our chosen successor, Arwenia, has converted, and I've also made sure to convert her children as well, because I think we're going to skip Arwenia. We're going to go straight to Elf Maramis, all five bloodlines, high elf as well. But now, without further ado, I think it is time for the succession. Oh my god, I think I've done it. I think we're through the looking glass. So someone in the comment section was right. To get the abdicate to work, we had to grant the title of the religious, the, the religious head title to the character we wanted to abdicate to. Abdicate to the character. And then have that title grant it back to faces because she's always going to be high when she's going to be our eternal queen our celestial eternal queen up here in her kingdom that she conquered from uh the conqueror of conquerors and there she is up here in our realm all we have to do now is give her independence and she gets her own little kingdom as has her own religious leader all the way up here in her own special realm and i believe everything else has worked as intended we have our artifacts i was going to re-equip them so we'll sort that out in a second we are Empress Elf Moramus, the two-year-old child. Now, why not? As, as I'm sure some people are wondering, why not Arwenia? As I mentioned yesterday, what happened when we tried to abdicate to Arwenia? The whole world collapsed. The realm co collapsed. Uh, everything fell apart. Maybe that was a vision from Faces. When she became Celestial, she had a vision. Not Arwenia. You have to move on. You have to move past that. Of course, we never played as a child before. So I think this would be a, a nice, interesting twist. The child Empress forced to take control of a realm because of maybe the madness of her... Of her, of her great grandmother here, high one faces the fickle faces who said, "I'm out." She did everything she needed to do, and she left. And now it's on us to try and sort things out. Before I unpause, then where do we even begin? I mean, first things first. Obviously, we've got to give you independence. So let's have a chat. Uh, we can grant independence. There you go. We gain a truce with her. To be honest, she might not be so happy about that because she might want us to protect her. But, I mean, we can we can forge an alliance, right? Too far away? Ah, well, that's something. Boy, I sure she isn't... I, I sure hope she isn't immediately crushed by her neighbors that are enormous and terrifying. Our vassals don't like us. Why? Below legitimacy. Ah. Court grandeur below expected level. Okay, fair enough. We can solve this by giving a lot of them positions on the council, right? I think in this case, uh, Elf Gumesh the Brilliant is going to have to take a council position instead. For our best marshal, uh, Feller and the Wolf. Sure, that seems pretty good. This is going to win them over for a while. Uh, and then, oh, God. If we can't win this guy over, though, he's going to be a pain in the ass. I think we need the best steward possible at this stage. So, let's search for a wet nurse, because uh, we're probably going to need one. And then we're going to have to sort out just everything. 
everything needs sorting out right now. What a total mess. I don't know why I caught Granger's reset, but never mind. There we are. Let's do that. Sort that out as soon as possible. That will that will deal with our Granger issues. Boom. Should shut our vassals up, more importantly. We should have a feast, maybe immediately, if we're allowed to host one. Our regent will have to sort one out. My father, Orophim, has been getting more irritable by the day as I sit on the throne contemplating the possible causes. The man himself storms towards me. Elf Muramis, my daughter, you have got to do something about the dreadful offering on your banquet table. Don't you care what people think of you? Um... Oh, shit. Set court cool amenities to decent fashion. No, no, no. You see, I've already done that. Uh, oh, you think you're better than my courtiers, Papa? Obviously, we've already sorted it. So let's not click that button in case it overrides it manually. Uh, okay. Weird. Here we are, then. A weird place. A weird town. Who's our educator, then? Orofim is our educator. Is he any good? He is very good. 27 learning. Obviously, genius and, and everything else that we would need. So he's going to be a fine educator. What is our character interested in? Nothing yet. I'm not sure what sort of character we would need to rule the realm. Arguably, diplomat to keep things together. Stewardship maybe to actually help us thrive. We go learning for the for the religious aspects of things. I have no idea, but we'll figure things out. Other advisor is going to be sent shortly. That's good. Didn't do many crowns. Ah, well that's good. Oh, sick. Because ten of, we have we have ten independent members of the Falconhanded Dynasty that are kings or higher. Oh, that's fun. Oh, my God. Look at that precocious child. Through careful, carefully planning marriages, alliances, and conquests, the Falcahanda dynasty has taken its rightful place among the true powers of the known world. That's so fun that, that Faces, getting her independence, fickle Faces, was the last one to count towards that. Mesopotamia, Francia, Sylvania, West Slavia. Our domain stretches far and wide. May our legacy live on for eternity. Very good. Okay. Um, I'd love to have a feast. Maybe went over some of our vassals here. Because this is uh, this is not going to go well otherwise. Let's just quickly throw that as soon as possible. Feast. Absolutely. Trying to increase our legitimacy here. Um, let's have in the capital. That's that's fine. Honorary guest. Uh, who doesn't like us the most? You'll be the honorary guest then. Congratulations. Let's go befriend. This tiny child is going to try and befriend uh, whoever our most relevant vassal is then. Oh, God. Fella and the wolf. Absolutely. That seems like a good idea. Um, where's all our money gone? She took the money with her. <laughs> <laughs> faces can i can i have that back please oh for fuck's sake all right we'll have to wait a month or two to get the money back that's okay in fact we could probably just ransom out some prisoners correct uh no where have they gone you know what don't worry about it we got a lot of realm setting up here to do this is going to be very very messy for a little while there you are we can afford all this so let's let's win over some people by giving them titles and ranks and whatever else i should probably be going for vassals and that type of thing but this is this is all right. There you go. You can have that. Master of the Horse. Again, give it to a give it to a vassal. Give it to a duke. Give it to somebody of some relevance to try and win them over. At least people worth winning over. Honestly, I'm not going to give it to that dude with minus 100 opinion. Bit of a drop in the bucket, really. Are you sure you hate me? How about I make you royal architect? I don't think that's really what we're after here. That's not how you make friends. Uh, speaking of not making friends, court jester? There's no downside to that, right? Uh, well, you know what? There you are. That's on you. Court musician. There we are. Good shit. Opinion with him is plus five. Very nice. A couple of bodyguards. Personal champion, of course, is going to be very relevant. Arwenia can be. Oh, that's quite nice. The passed over. The second passed over child, of course. Her, it was her father. Who, who was her father again? I'm trying to remember the succession here. Rathathathi. That's right. Rathathathi the second. And, of course, Arwenia and now us. So two generations have been uh, a bit jaded there. Might be a little bit pissed off by us. We could sell some artifacts to quickly fund a feast. As soon as we get that going, the better. Ah, now here's something I did do. I gave uh, Faces back the, po the, the, the papal tiara, because she's the head of our faith. And I also gave her back the sword of God that we stole. That wasn't really a, a proper weapon, so to speak. Um, oh, we can still equip lots of weapons. Again, I don't know what's doing that, but that's okay. If we've got any, like, vassal opinion. What is that? Knight effectiveness. Uh, travel safety. Knight effectiveness. All right, sure. We'll go with that one then. Uh, you can equip your three different sets of armor. We've got our regalia there too. We just need to do whatever gives us vassal opinion, I think, at this point. Prestige, fertility, development growth could be good. Diplomacy lifestyle experience. Learning, a health boost. Oh, God. Clergy opinion. Well, that's something, isn't it? So we'll throw one of those on. Uh, shit. Zealot vassal tax. Plague resistance. Medicinal jar gives learning plus five. Good God. So to round things off, I've thrown in, again, books that give a little extra diplomacy there too, just to, just to help people, you know, just to impress on people a little bit better. This will very quickly not be an issue. Uh, this is going to be the hardest part, this beginning, where things may fall apart. How are we looking for factions? I'm sure they haven't had, yeah, they haven't had long enough yet to uh, 
potentially, I think we'll always show maximum strength for that. Uh, yeah, no, uh, people are people are angry, but not enough to join factions right now. 32,000 angry. Yeah, that's a deep concern. What about the man-at-arms? What the fuck is this? What, who are these men-at-arms? Who, who are you? What the hell happened to my armies? <laughs> oh, there's no point disbanding them when we can't build new ones, huh? Right, finally, we will unpause. Let's sell some, sell some stuff and immediately get to work on... Oh, God, what does a preservative box do? Nah, sell it. We're good. Yeah, let's, let's fund that feast then. Children can't host feasts. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, never mind then. Forget the feast idea. I, I mean, you can host a feast in the honor of the vassals. Oh, God. Meet peers. That seems good. Let's notify when that's available. Um, we have to be four years old for that. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's all right. Keep that on the back burner. Everything's okay. What can I do with the council? I need them to be like winning over my vassals here. Bestow royal favor. That's probably not a terrible idea. To 100 in total. Domestic affairs. Get domestic affairs sorted. You could probably be culturally converting, to be fair. What are my other options here? Cultural acceptance, promote culture, collect taxes. I don't think we need the taxes. Let's start promoting culture and start winning over that way. Um, you need to keep order because this is going to be very messy for a little while. You are going to disrupt schemes. Yes, please. Can we send this man some money? Can I do anything to win him over? Send him a gift. 51 opinion of you. Boom. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll, uh, as the money comes in, we'll start giving it out to our vassals. That actually might be the right move immediately. Send a gift. What do you want? Fuck, 75 gold to get almost nothing in return. It, it, it might just be enough to dissuade them from doing anything horrific, right? It might just be enough to tick them over... Okay, oh, I think I've got a filter on this that sorts by... Yeah, not fail ill. Okay, so we're doing pretty good, given that five direct vassals are our only five direct vassals who don't... Um, let's do that. There you go. Who who aren't our religion. The problem with that is they still dislike us, even without that taken into account. What do you want? You want 105 gold. You know what? Give me a minute. Faction create against you. Okay, here we are. We're already kicking off then. Fuck. Dissolution faction. Who's this guy? This guy, this guy. We need to win him over. How can we win him over here? Send him a gift. Send him a gift. Shut him up. Send him an artifact, because those actually stack. Um, you want a gazelle hide? Seven opinion of you. Surely I got something good I can give him that isn't that impressive. Uh, we've got a spare Oxus bracelet. Yes, we do. You would like that? You would like that. There you go. Now he's got plus one opinion. That might be enough to dissolve those factions. Oh, I hope so. Anyway, Oxus cannot join factions, so they're not relevant. Thank God we've been hoarding these artifacts for so bloody long. Okay, we need to win her over, but let's worry about that later. What else have we got going on here? Plus nine? Let's just build up some cash. Let's build up some cash for a little while. Tax collectors. Yes, sure. Okay, there you go. Good luck. Seriously, genuinely best best of life. Oh, as an empty check tax jurisdiction. Um, basic taxes. Here. Can we swap that over to like uh whatever's the kindest tax? Pinion of Leech plus fifteen. Icta. Yeah, let's go with that then, I think. Except, there you go. That should win some people over. Oh! As one dissolution faction disappeared, that'll be that guy that I gave all those gifts to. Another one has popped up. These two, these two fuckers. Give them an artifact, just give them something, shut him up. Uh, what else do we not want here? Do want an apron? No, I need that. Nubian goblet? That's terrible, I'm not using that. 19 opinion, there you go, you can have that. Have I sent this guy a gift? He's up to zero now. I've already sent him a gift. I think I have, but we'll just double check here in a second. Look, as things are stabilizing, our money is going up significantly. Uh, I've already given that, but he's... Apparently, it will override. What's his previous gift? Received gift 35. Okay, so he's already he's already good. And he already has a high opinion of us now. What about you, madam? Perhaps I could send you a gift. You need 112 more gold. That's okay. We can hold out for that. That's fine. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, don't just ignore the panic in my voice as I try and keep things together. Uh, you can station man at arms regiments. I, I would like my old man at arms regiments back. I guess she took him and fucked off then. Fair enough. I, I really can't blame her for that, given that she's going to the weaker realm. There you go. Yeah, I feel so powerful and defended. We, got the, we kept the Ranger High Guard and we kept some pikemen. I say kept some pikemen. We never had bloody pikemen. We're aligned to inherit titles. Yeah, that's fine. Too many held duchies. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Let's get rid of those then. So, what duchies have we got here? Sistan. We definitely shouldn't have Sistan. Oh, that must have been made when the, the succession occurred. Um, here. Would you like that? You don't like me. Well, let's give him that title then. That'll, that'll win him over. And it would shut up quite a few of our other vassals because we no longer hold too many duchies. So, that's pretty good. Um, holdings of the wrong type. Oh, sissies. We've got sissies. Right. I guess I could just grant those to nobles of elven culture just so that we get a fresh slate to start with. Yeah, let's do that then. There you go. And then you, noble of elven culture. There we are. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. Things are, things are evening out. Don't panic too much. Look! 
See, everything's already gone a little bit better. Just giving away that one Dutch has put a bit of a dent in things. Oh, God. You've gained the trait shrewd. Good for her. Good for you, father. My elven people have collectively reached a profound understanding. I'll wave to serve this. Okay, so we're becoming tribal ascended. Ooga booga, my brothers. Ooga booga. Very good. Good work. Now, we sit and we wait. I think that's it. I think I think we're golden. I think we're good. How many living members are there? 5,000. We may have to do another elven purge at some point. We've got population control going, but we might need to cut back our own dynasty that has grown to tremendous levels again. <laughs> have I ever shown the elf purge mid-episode? I'm not sure. Star elf control decision. I never finished the mod. It didn't really matter. Do I ignore that? It's just, it's, just, it's just nonsense. There you go. Boom. Now, I was very strict about the targeting that this mod will do. It won't go for anybody relevant at all. It won't go for family members of anyone relevant at all. It will cleanse courtiers uh, who, who don't have titles, positions, ranks in the court, it, uh, unless those courtiers are, of course, related to people relevant, at which point they'll be ignored. I think I'll probably go... I'd imagine it'll probably go down to about 2,600 or so. And normally when this happens, yeah, there you go. We'll get a pop-up saying go to the royal court because people in the court have died. Uh, it's going. 2818, that seems about right. That seems about right. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Should speed things up a bit. What do we do as tiny baby elf Moramus then? Uh, until she turns four, not a lot. <laughs> I think we really just sit here and wait for a while, don't we? My only job is to ensure that this realm doesn't fall apart. I feel like we're really playing the regent at this point. Why do we do that? Why do we have a look at the regent? Oh, it's a, it's a father. Yeah, he's definitely got her best interests at heart. He's a very intelligent, powerful elf, as they all tend to be. He's, he's not a particularly noteworthy, powerful elf. He's very, very good at realm management, though. So that's certainly something that I think we can leverage to, you know, to, 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 to the benefit of the story here. It makes perfect sense to be going out of my way to try and win these people over and to try and stop them from going into full-on open rebellion. Um, would you like a... Would you like a book? <laughs> do, you want a, do you want a book? Do you want a shield? Would you like a shield? It's not much of a shield. It's not a very impressive shield, but there you are. Ah! There is so much to see and smell and touch. Where do you come from? Why is the sky blue? What's beyond that hill? Please, please, I want to go and find out. We've become curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Education focus then. I feel like we have to go diplomacy, uh, even though I think diplomacy is tremendously dull. Oh, we go learning. Why not? Why not? Oh, we haven't played a learning character. And in the time of a new religious upheaval, in the time of, uh, of a lot of religious uncertainty within our realm, with it being divided between the pre-existing Islamic religions here, with it being divided between our old religion, Aloran, and now, of course, the, the new Faelil, I think... I think we go learning. Let's do it. That, that sounds pretty good. Not that we've struggled, obviously, getting learning stats before. Given the last two characters have been learning geniuses. Something I should have pointed out, sorry, not even last episode, the episode before that, was uh, Ratha Tharthi was the one of the, one of the few people to defeat Faces in a battle when we were fighting against France. No, it wasn't even when we were fighting against France. It was when we were getting our independence from Germany Elf. He was leading one of their armies and was the one capable of stopping her. Which is super impressive. How's he doing, by the way? But a lot of people have said I should jump over to our previous characters like Ratha Tharthi and ascend them. Because obviously they have more than enough piety to do so. And I do agree with that idea. I think that's a good idea. Sorry, let's clear out some of this other stuff. So we're not playing as you. You can go, you can go, you can go, you can go. There we go. So we see all of our previous characters there. Maybe I should just ascend him fast. And there you are. Rathu Tharthi has evolved. He is no longer a true elf. He is now Fey. Amazing. Can you just ascend again immediately? He could. Because he's got so much piety. He's lost the trait Fey and gained the trait Fey Radiant. And my friends, my god, we can do it once more. Boom. He is no longer Fey Radiant and he is also a Celestial. I actually love that for Wrath of Tharthi. I think that's fantastic. His daughter ascended to become Celestial. He's like, you know what? I think I could too. Especially as a man who is the defender of the... Uh, of, of the portal over here. And where did we build it? In Cairo? Somewhere. Uh, yeah, uh, the defender of the Grand Portal absolutely deserves to be a Celestial. Let's build our own Pantheon. Let's build our own Pantheon. Why not? And I love the fact that, that even though, like, traditionally, of course, in Pantheons, you've got, you got Zeus. You've got Odin. You've got these very much kind of Sky Father-like figures, haven't you? Whereas, and obviously, there's, there's kind of primordials before even them. But I like the idea that, that in this case, it's actually Faces was the first of the, of the Celestials. And then he followed in her footsteps. The ever-humble Ratha Tharthi. What a legend. So we have our Aileron Advisor. Our work is absolutely unending when it comes to conversion. Oh, she's fucking awful. Oh, she's awful. Oh, dismiss her. Get a new one. 
Good lord. 11 years for that. Wow. He, obviously, it's also tied uh, intrinsically to our culture as well. So that's something we're just going to have to wait for these cultural conversions to kick in. It's, it's a total nightmare. My regent has furthered his mandate. What is his mandate? He's, he's, he is loyal, right? That's probably a better way to check your region. Selfless. That's good. Um, I would like you to promote authority. Yes. Forget the coffers. Forget the armies. Promote authority. Make sure that people know that Alf Marimus is coming for them. And she's going to be the greatest elf who has ever lived. Do you want to offer our sister as hostage to the Emperor so that he doesn't declare war on us? I think we, I think we will. I think we will. I think we'll do it. Yes. Let's, let's, we, look, we, we've got potentially problems internally. Let's ensure that we're not having problems externally as well. Very good. Yes. Oh, sorry. Did I offer a hostage? I meant to exchange hostages. No, 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 no. It's okay. Don't panic. I didn't mess up. And Profelion has no valid hostages because he's already got one traveling to our court. We're fine. Don't panic. Arwenia, hello, has given birth to Galanwen. I need to pull up that names list again, don't I? So that we can start. We should already rename our character and our siblings so that we've got a new generation of those kind of Meso Mesopotamian names. We've, we've, we've kept a lot of the Egyptian theme stuff. It just seems to be sticking around in the dynasty. Oh, fuck off. God, Microsoft, you are... Look, look, look how long story short, I rather foolishly uh, kept all the names in the sticky notes app. Apparently, that's just had an update for keeping notes. And now it's demanding that I sign into a Microsoft account to get all my notes back. And I'll be honest, I'm not doing that. I'm not being held hostage by major corporations. You can fuck off. Okay, tiny child, you're going to be called Galanwen. And then next episode, I'll write down all the bloody names again. Ridiculous. So if you've got any fresh suggestions, now's your time to try and throw them in. Because they'll be on the top of my list and I'll work backwards. Very frustrating. Because she is now four years old, we're off meeting peers in Baghdad. I don't know what mod is making it so that the kids wear like adult clothes. But she's like... It's really bizarre. Like, she's all totally out of proportion. It's kind of freaking me out. But there we are. Very suddenly. Quite, like, quite literally turned from three to four. And she's... It's all, it's all very strange. All very strange. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Search for a court shooter. Yes, please do. Let's see if we can find someone of excellent aptitude. At least. Because this is not very good. Poor and poor. They failed to impress me. Awful people. It's fine. See, we're fine. It's hindered from declaring war on you because Aravena is his hostage. We're fine. We've got... Peace with France. Nothing that we would ever need to worry about. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Raiders of France, 450,000? Get out of here. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? That's ridiculous. <sighs> ah, you beat him in war and they're like, okay, well, I'm not going to not gonna declare war on you again. Don't worry, but I will raid you. What raid you with half the population of my friggin' empire? Dickhead. Ah, gathering of children. Welcome. Hello. Right, here we go. Our first time to really kind of mold this character and see what we can do with her. Ah, uh, your kinswoman, uh, your kinswoman Evania is hiding something. Just as she agrees to tell me what it is, my kinswoman Elwyn approaches and insists that I join her for a game of chess. Hush, I want to know the secrets. She's a non-believer. I don't care about silly secrets. Ah, uh, no, we have to know because we're curious. She's a non-believer. Oh, well then, have her executed. My kinswoman, Elowen, and I agree that it's uh, a trade is important skill for a noble to learn. And so we decided to visit the local market in Baghdad. We only have some pebbles for currency, but they are very shiny. Um, I would like to purchase a wear, please. Or let's go set up our own stall. Oh, uh, 88% chance of increasing our stewardship. That child is hideous. Boom. You can visit the merchant to trade. Hey, well done. Ooh. We're playing in the forest when I find myself all alone. I could have sworn the others were just behind me. Just as I'm about to start screaming, I stumble across my mother, Arwenia, dressed in a black cloak. She's crouched on the ground inspecting some weird-looking plant, comparing it to one depicted in a big black tome open on the ground beside her. Hello, young lady. Has the calling of knowledge led you out here to me? What's to know about the plant you're holding? We might become a herbalist. Whoa, that's really good. Or we can become a witch. Now, uh, we can become a witch anyway. Chances are we will automatically become a witch when we turn of age. So let's see what we can like, become a herbalist at a young age. That's fun. I have no idea what she's talking about. You fucking idiot, stupid idiot child. You just blew an incredible chance. Ah, oh, my kinswoman and the boy were merely pretending to fight, but suddenly there is blood in the dirt. She hits the ground with a grunt and the peasant standing above her moves to attack and get away from her bowl cut. I will save her. Made a friend. Oh, Eliana, that's very nice. Oh, I like that. Oh. <gasps> King Toots and Carmel. Oh, fuck me. I thought that was Ratha Tharthia that had died. You can't really blame me. The inbred coefficient is uh, uh, 100% at this point. I know that's, that's not how inbred coefficients work. It's the same character. We are copy and pasting characters.
And there we are, 150 prestige, and every guest gains some opinion of you. One guest. Thank you. Finish being peers. Well, that was good. That was something. We just need to do that as much as often, because that seems like we can get some really, really powerful traits from that. Oh, she's suddenly grown again. My vassal, Duchess Lubica, has honored me with a visit. Uh, you want this man to join my court? Now, thank you. I appreciate that, but no, no, thank you. <laughs> Look at that tiny child sat on that enormous throne. <laughs> That's so funny. We never play as a child character. So it was a nice breath of fresh air. Instead of planning these enormous grand campaigns, these independence wars and everything else, just living our life. Uh, Aravena gains the trait pensive. I wonder what's on her mind. Uh, probably not being in France, if I had to assume. Well, we can't educate her anyway, so that's on you, my friend. So let's record you. We're just going to keep trying until we get someone good. Because this is kind of pathetic. Oh, game's struggling a little bit. Uh, average, poor. Oh, for God's sake. Elven Ocatan culture. Interesting. What does that have going for it? It's going to be almost impossible to try and tell from comparing them back and forth. Oh. Well, they've swapped out almost all of the elven stuff for... Oh, God. For just, like, random human crap. Oh, pathetic. Awful. All those incredibly powerful benefits, and you've swapped over. My mother, Arwenia, has given birth to another child. A true elf. What did the other ones come out? High elf. That one's the first true elf. Oh, good for her. Make her strong and wise, Kalindra. Is there, like, a mod to add characters of special interest? Because that would be nice. Because this is just like... I, I, there's so many characters I want to keep track of and check up on. But I've never really considered that this is like a big failing of this game before, huh? Oh, that was not expected. Oh, shit. Uh, I thought that she was going to get absolutely steamrolled by the Mongol Empire. She's done a 360 and deflected on them. She's, in, <laughs> she's launched a holy war against him immediately. <laughs> Good for her. Hey, good for her. That's so good. And these are things that if I had a special interest button, I'd be able to keep up with. Ah, <sighs> I miss you, CK2. And hold on, I've got an idea of how we can win some of these people over. What if we just, we just start building buildings in their capital, right? Or we upgrade their territory. That was a way to do it in Crusader Kings. It's not uh, CK2, of course. Uh, righteous, respected, strange gods, distinguished. They don't give a fuck that I've just upgraded his castle for him. Just absolutely does not give a shit. Are you joking? Really? What if I do that? Are you happy with that? 63. That's so silly. How would that How would that not give opinion with your vassals? Well, I mean, I haven't got anything else to spend this enormous heap of cash on as a child. Back that's fully upgraded. I think Ukbara is as well. And so is Anwaran. Sasar? Alfasa? Okay, so it's just the bottom one beyond Iskaf that needs upgrading. Jesus. Then what am I going to do? I have to build some more stuff in our round. Look at the renown! Is that... 1,039,687. Good lord. Hello. Uh, passing through my court, I noticed an unrecognized face approach me. My most charming liege, I am Mudere, former courtier of the royal architect Duchess Radica. She's asked me to present myself to partake in your court. After breaking the seal, dear Elf Moramus, please assassinate the bearer of this letter. Radica. Um. Ah. Uh, you've been marked for death. Flee while you can. Come, I have some poisoned, invigorating herbs for you. I'd love to try and kill her. 93% chance of killing her. Oh, very good. Well, there you go. That's one over that vassal. Oh, great stuff. Good work. Now we're building up some money. I thought it was probably time to go through and make sure all of our vassals were on side no matter what. So there you go, my friends. Have some have some lovely, lovely money. And that means that the, 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 the four vassals or whatever that hate us are totally at this point outweighed by the vassals that like us. It's not going up to plus 100 opinion with some of them already. Beautiful. There we are. Unnecessary to give him a gift. But you know what? I'll make sure everybody gets a gift. We're very fair. There you are. And then the guy even off the screen. There you go. Beautiful. Right. So it's barely put a dent in our money, but it's going to keep, hopefully, all of those factions under wraps. One member. Yeah, I can't really do much about that, I'm afraid. But you, Persian popularist, got to be careful about that. Liberty faction. Again, can't do anything about these fellas, but that's as good as it gets. I think we just gained Sagacious. There we are, because we turned six and our learning's above a certain level. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Tim was still a high elf, but we'll try and do something. What I need to do is keep an eye on our weenie. Oh, if only there was a special interest button. And then I could, uh, whenever she has a kid, flip her over. Oh, I came to resent you because you were chosen as heir. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll tidy things over. We'll, we'll smooth things over one day. Hopefully, they'll have another kid and we can make it a male. And hopefully, it'll be born with a higher elven rank, right? Search for a court chooser. Yes, our court chooser just resigned or died or whatever. I feel like we're cursed to a bad education with this character. Oh, thank God, at long last, Elendar is a renowned scholar. Holy shit, that took a long time, didn't it? But we finally got one. Right, let's make sure that you are... Where is he? Court Chooser. 
Experience. The lifestyle experience up by 10%. Learn language scheme power up by 20. Improves education outcome. That's very good. Speaking of education and uh, learning language, let's go do that immediately then. 95% chance we learn Iranian. We'll go learn all of the various languages within our realm. Oh, Arwenia, I'm so sorry. You were, the, you were the chosen child for such a brief moment. I've observed my mother, Arwenia, having mead quite often recently. I found her in the nook of the holding face down in a puddle of questionable origin, drunk out of her wits. I should try some uh, alcohol. Yeah, or better not. Better not. <laughs> Do not adjust your screens. Don't uh, wipe your glasses down. Oh! My royal architect, King Alandir, has expanded his royal kennels under the direction of his hunt master. He's invited all his kin to share in the fruits of his endeavor. We can adopt a puppy. Uh, I have turned the graphics down again, because despite the fact I've got a Threadripper and a 7900 XTX, this game still cooks my PC. I don't know what the fuck kind of NASA supercomputer you need to play Crusader Kings 3 on, but it's still roasting things. So hopefully you won't get any of those audio problems in the future, but this is insane. Can I adopt that puppy now? Where is that? Adopt puppy. Hell yeah. Pet dog, boom. And my servants bring me a newborn Canaan pup, fresh from the renowned Paracy Kennels, to establish my royal arch establish my royal architect, King Alenda. Uh, you shall serve me well, little one. Hello, diplomacy and prowess. Oh yes, what are we going to call the dog? Great question. Amiable, nose wise, hold fast. I'm going to call you. Um... Ooh. Ooh, let me... Hold on, I've got something. I've got something. Let me just work with it. God damn it, I'm naming the dog Grand. <laughs> I couldn't think of a pun. I had something on the tip of my tongue. I just couldn't make it work. Uh, the study of Iranian language is pro progressing fantastically. I feel like I have all the folks in energy in the world. My name is Elfmiramis. I like to eat roasted almonds. Oh, no. <coughs> Sorry, I'm allergic to Iranian. Oh, and that's it. Uh, done immediately. Oh, beautiful. There you go. Okay, fantastic. What else do you want to learn here? Um, do you just speak any other, other language? Learn language. There we are. Boom. What do, what do you speak? Serbo-Croatian. That's not what I expected to see out here in Persia, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. What happened to you? Died of typhus. Oh, Jesus. We have really run a, a number on their people. I mean, obviously, it wasn't faces that, that caused them to gain typhus. How is she doing? 19%. She lost a lot of battles. I don't really know what she expected, given their... Tremendous amount of troops that they've got, but if they if they keeps going like this, it's not going to be a Mongol Empire before long. Oh, I disabled disease graphics and suddenly OBS isn't complaining anymore. You can do that over here, by the way. I disabled legend graphics as well, just to see if it would help. Oh, that's a nice change. But there we go. We can meet up here again. Let's see if we can actually get some good character development here, little child. Goodbye. How many are going to turn up this time? Four. Not really that many peers, is it? Oh, we've learnt uh, <laughs> cultural acceptance between Fay and the Serbians increases by one percent. We'll now learn Arabic. That seems pretty appropriate. Let's jump on that one too. Oh, none of our royal court stuff was equipped. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Well, these things happen, don't they? Um, right. I'm looking for any that give maybe... Uh, I'm probably just going to get rid of that, to be honest. It didn't do anything for us. It's just it's just polluting the waters a bit, isn't it? Prestige couldn't hurt. Yeah, prestige couldn't hurt because then we could build up our armies a little bit better. Um, what else you got for me? Achaemenid drinking vessel. Achaemenid drinking vessel. Yeah, we don't need that. Thank you. Ox's bracelet. Uh, that one's not very good. We went to Koffer. Uh, give, me, give me this one, because that also gives prestige. There we are. Oops, that was the same as the other one. Never mind. There we go. Right, so let's get all this shit sorted out. There. Okay, I've tried to boon prestige as much as possible so that we can actually potentially afford some uh, retinues or mana arms eventually. How long until this starts? Six months. What's going on with that kid's clothes? What the hell is that? Here we go. Hopefully a second chance at Herbalist. Come on, we've got to get something good. If not, I'll just take Witch. Okay, if we're forced to take Witch, I think we're going to end up with Witch anyway. We're probably going to be approached because the AI will just do that when you're a certain age, right? Um, oh, is this, is this, oh no, this is not the same kid. Idiot kid. Uh, I will save him. Absolutely. While still children, you saved Arendor Wildfire from being beaten by a group of rowdy youths. Grond, the meeting. I saw my vassal Duke Vladimir approach the beautiful grey dog. Grond and the other dog take off. Oh no. Grond, no. Oh, God, my poor boy. I hope he comes back. Bring out the wolf's head. Oh, my vassal. I find the two dogs after all in the middle of some rigorous copulating. Grond, how could you let that mutt? He trails off, but I see anger in his eyes. Well, that's, that's your fault. Take control of your dog. There it is. Third language down. Every zealot vassal gains 10 opinion of you for 10 years. That's pretty good. Uh, You got any more of those languages for me to learn, though? Can I just like, right-click learn language from someone? Uh, I was hoping I could just do it from her, and then it will filter to people who have languages for me to learn. Ah, 
Parents don't speak anything. Grandparents don't speak anything either. Can we learn French? No, they only speak High Elven and Arabic. French is ex extinct. Crying shame. What about you? Germany Elf? Speak High Elven and Italian Vulgar. I'm not allowed to learn either of those, apparently. Okay. What about Grandpa? Surely he speaks like Egyptian or something. High Elven, Berber, Greek, French, Arabic, Sudanic, and Amotic. Okay. Can I learn one of those? Or is that not allowed either? I guess it has to be within our realm. Oh. I don't think there are any other languages to pick up at this point. Oh, well. Hold on. One of our counters speaks Armenian. That'll do. There we are. Sadly, no witch or herbalist event this time. How old is she? Eight years old. Okay, it's going well. What we have to do is save up Melandia. Oh my god, she had a son. That was fortunate. He's only a high elf, but that's okay. Oh my god, that was bloody fortunate. And then we marry you to uh, us. Where are we? Oh, try betrothal? No, hold on. <laughs> we arrange marriage. Melandia, there we go. Boom. So that's all five bloodlines locked in. Again, only becoming high elves, but that's at least a step in the right direction. If she can accrue a spark crystal and maybe even ascend, maybe it counts your betrothed as someone that you can ascend. We'd have to give it a go. If not, worst case scenario, only she, only she ascends, but that's still, that's still fine. We could probably find another spark crystal. Now that I know we can just go back and forth to our back garden, it's a lot quicker. We've got years to save up for a university visit. And there are still places to upgrade, so we're going to stick with that. I say there are places, uh, barely. We've got only four holdings, four personal holdings out of 11 now that have anything that we can upgrade at all. Then that's it. It's the end until we get some bloody cultural stuff. Hoping they'll get something that lets us upgrade the base level of the buildings because those are pretty pathetic right now. Oh, Urbana is back. That's good. Yeah, we just, we need hoardings. We still don't have hoardings. Bring out the wolf's head. It's grand, everyone. I'm sorry, Empress Alphmoramus, says my steward, Duke Alphgamesh. I have to disagree with what you just... Grrr. Grund gives a guttural growl, and Duke Elfgamesh jerks back from the dog to me. Looking from the dog to me and back. Uh, on second thoughts, I think it's a great idea. Thank you, Grund. Wow, thank you, Grund. It's the most interesting thing that's happened in the past uh, nine years. Oh, okay, here we go. Give others their due, and you will receive their own. We become generous. Work hard, and you can master anything. We become diligent, or greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp it when it does. Who? Um. Wow. I I think all of them have their merits. Diligent is especially good, right? That's that's arguably the best one up there. Patient for a learning character. I could see something with that. It's a bit boring though. Generous is a really interesting way to play a character for sure. Work hard. And you Diligent is just work hard. Well, we're going to be doing that anyway. What am I going to do? Sit here and not do anything? In terms of character, I think. Aralas, what have you got? Administrative courtier might is touched. I, I think. All right, then. Let's go for generous. It's going to be all about money. That seems good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Khans. Oh, this is just bullying. Their court now speaks high elven. A most wise decision. Oh, my God. You just absolutely flexed on them like crazy. She's losing that war, isn't she? Minus 6%. Oh, faces. You got too confident and you've absolutely bricked it. Oh, God. She's never going to be able to pull that back, I don't think. Oh, let's meet our peers again, squad. Let's get on with it. Back to uh, <laughs> Baghdad. Uh, we're going to go out into our garden and meet our friends. How long are they going to get here? Eight months. Ridiculous. Where are they coming from? Budding attraction. Do we choose to love boys, girls, anyone, or no one? Ah. Uh, I think we'll just go, just go anyone. That seems fine. That seems okay. Given that we're a lot less... Uh, angry about uh you know extramarital relationships why not live a little open yourselves up we're gonna play a game with uh with with a ball okay i mean i prefer the uh, come, do you want to give me the thing about the witch again get him push her up into the wall that's it i'll win his voice booms out across the courtyard she's po posted up to the corner to watch galanwin play the game of football a bias towards the go girl clear to see this is our sister right Suffice to say, Alwinia is taking it a tad too seriously. Hey, no pushing. That's cheating. Her hysteronics are really beginning to grate. Will you just shut up? Are we going to fight her? Should we tell her to shut up or should we tell her to deal with it? Uh, I'll just deal with it. You're getting ringing ears for five years. Oh, drunken, angry mother Alwinia is, uh, is a very tragic character, isn't she? God, look at that animation there. Holy shit. What's she, a fucking robot? Is that data? Uh, here, let's go for the diplomacy then. Good, we did increase it. That's good. That was the right decision to make. Just got to bear it. Oh, even though we're children, football can turn into an awfully rough game. 
as what started as a playful match suddenly turned into a full-fledged melee. Takes a few seconds to get my bearings back. When I do, I hear a shrill cry of pain and terror coming from a pile of children. Stuck at the bottom, I spot Kalindra being trampled by scores of feet. No, my little sister Kalindra. Kalindra, hold on, I'm coming. 48% chance we gain strong. Do it. Come on. You rescue her. Prowess by one. You made a friend. We didn't get strong though. Oh, this kid is so unlucky. This kid is so unlucky. We've had so many good events and she's whiffed every single one of them. Well, there we are. We've met our friends. Still nothing good to come from it, but there we are. It's better to do it than not do it, I suppose. You miss 100% of the opportunities you don't take. Honest, humble, or deceitful. Interesting. Um, well, I mean, look, in, in, in CK3 and in CK2, learning... Steward, uh, sorry, learning is kind of intrinsically tied to uh, religion, right? And scholarship and that type of thing. I suppose humility gives a zealot vassal opinion. Deceitful. I don't think suits her, to be honest. Honest is pretty good. What do you think? Humble or honest? The humble, generous Elf Moramus. Couldn't be totally more opposite to... Uh, our previous character, could it? I think we'll take humble. I think we'll take humble, and we'll take generous, and she will be the kindest, most gifting ruler. She will be resplendent, and everybody will say, wow, not because they fear her, or because she's terrifying, or because she's above them, like our previous character, like Queen Faces or Empress Faces. No, no, no. But because they love her. They love her because they want to love her. Ah, oh, another childhood event. Ah, veal cutlets. My favorite. Spelt wrong as I'm about to dig in. My joy is interruptly abrupted by Thalora. What does she want? Hello there, witch. What are you eating? Looks disgusting. Let's add some spice to it, she explains, walking close to my plate. Patui, a vile lob of spit, lands straight in my meal. There you go, much tastier. We can either say, now you've done it, become vengeful. Secretly spit in her meals from now on, bon appetit. Or grin and bear it. Become calm. Ooh, the calm, humble, generous empress couldn't be any more opposite to the other characters we've had. Boom, done. You gain calm. Beautiful. And you know what? If she, when she becomes a grown-up, if that child is, was still a bully all this time, we'll imprison her. <laughs> Shall we send her to university then? Just in case I forget while we've got the money, just in case something terrible happens. So I'm going to remove you as a ward, and then I'm going to have you educate her and send her to university. There you go. Lose 4,500 gold. Oh. And we'll see if we get any events. I don't believe we will. I think it's just you basically pay 4,500 gold to guarantee you get a better education. And that's it. We almost certainly don't need it. Everybody loves Grond. Of course they love Grond. Oh my god. I just zoomed out for the first time in a long time. There is barely anywhere that isn't part of an elven realm. Very, very minor places up there in northern Finland. We've got northern Norway, parts of Sweden, and, and kind of central Norway there too. What is that? As West Slavia. Jesus. And somehow Italy is independent, but Italy is still Falkahanda, so that's that counts. This has been a proper world conquest. This has been a proper world conquest. There's barely anywhere left to go. Now, fair warning. It's very possible that Empress Elf Moramis may be our final character. When we hit the peak of that ascension, and when I'm happy that the story has been told, we will probably wrap things up. This will probably be our final character. So we could continue the conquest over towards the east. However, you might have noticed, uh, I've been sat here now for nearly three hours, and we've played a grand total of about seven years. She is... Oh, no, she was through when we started playing. So we played ten years. It's so unfathomably slow at this point in time. This is a lag fest. I've done a little research and there is a mod that removes most of the east and most of the south of the map and basically cuts the map down, like cuts this edge off and this edge off. Pulls it all in, does keep the Mongol Empire, so we haven't got to worry about faces. She'll be still up there. I presume she lost her war. Um, she's also apparently allied them, which is impressive. What happens with that war? Oh, there we are. Which was won by faces. Oh, shit. Oh my god, she wait, she won? I thought she was So what what did she get then? She picked up all this stuff. Oh, no, see, I thought she was holding Warren down here. How bizarre. Okay. They're down to 38,000 troops now, Temujin the second, which is less than she's got. So I don't think this is ever going anywhere. The last opportunity here, probably the final time we're going to be able to meet our peers and then we are done with the childhood events. These clothes, they are very avant-garde, aren't they? My lord. Oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello there, smooth skin. Oh, Typhus. To be fair, a lot of people in the court have Typhus, I noticed. Orophim, our father, also had Typhus. He's fine now, but he did for a little while. Here we go. This might be the final most significant moment of all of her childhood. To say there was a whole DLC. Was it not Wards and Wardens that came out? I feel like fucking nothing happened still as a, as a kid, right? Ugh, a former friendship with her? No, she's reading. She would, she would enjoy reading. She's a humble, calm character. She wouldn't want to be playing games with these children. Um, again, she doesn't want to play, but... Oh, I don't really feel like it. Oh, just do it. Just do it. You've got to have a little childhood wonder, okay? You've got to... We, listen, we've got to get something out of this childhood. Leave her alone. Step up and confront the bully. Absolutely. You intimidate them into backing off. Well done. See, we'd have missed out on that if otherwise. Um... Arendor isn't going to apologize. We increased diplomacy by two. We say, I'm so sorry. Arendor became Valeria's bully. Just apologize to Valeria. There we go. See, it all, it's all working out. It's an event chain. So we have to pick that one. Otherwise, it becomes tremendously boring. Uh, oops, what did that old man want? Hello. Will you be quiet for the love of divine spark? A deed is leaning out of the mullion window above us. Apoleptic shaking a fist. You blasted kids are making such a racket I can barely hear myself think. I pick up the ball as it approaches me, regarding as the old man as he chunters down at us. He is truly ancient, maybe even 30 or 40 years old. No wonder he's angry. Be quiet, you mad old fool. Or, well, sorry, we'll be more quiet. She's calm. Go on, then. 34 diplomacy at the age of 14. I mean, I'll take it. That's pretty good. What the fuck? What? Valeria, the daughter of my vassal, has brought forth undeniable evidence of my role in the death of Madari, a commoner. <gasps> this was that fucking person we poisoned ages ago. Valeria, we, we, we just defended you from your bully. You can't blame her. Fuck off. That's ridiculous. That was a child. That was a three-year-old. Oh, my God. Okay. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, my mother will pay for repairs. I'm sorry. Maybe we have our ball back. She returns the ball with a deep sigh. We're getting the tray ill. Um, do no more than what is necessary. There's got to be Typhus. Our mother, our vengeful, drunkard, pisshead witch of a mother, has worsened disease symptoms. That's probably intentional, let's be honest. Goodbye, friends. Well, that event was horrible, wasn't it? Save a child from her bully, and then all of a sudden she outs us as a murderer. A murderer that I think, really, we don't deserve the blame for, given that we were three. And there we are. The hidden knowledge that Orophim is going to pass on to us, of course, it's witchdom. We've become a witch, which is virtuous. It's it's completely fine. She's also well. What a, what a strange coincidence. She becomes a witch and then also gets cured of her disease. And basically, we're done. Oh, that's excellent. I thought something might happen when we got sent off to the Alloran sisters, but I don't think we actually did ever end up going, right? Or maybe we're technically still there. No, we're, we're in our court. Okay, I guess it didn't count. Or maybe because of succession and weird shit like that, we got brought back. Something like that. Only a few more months, and then we are done. And here we go, 23rd of March. Nothing else left to do now besides simply grow and hopefully get a good education. I'll take that. With the help of Orofim and the university, I've achieved an understanding of scholarship that far exceeds any of my peers. Even though I had a natural inclination towards the subject, my master is still an achievement. As I take my... Oh, thank you, master and philosopher. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on me. The friendship I have shared with Calandra meant a lot to me when we were young. To have her still by my side means a lot. And there we are. We're out. We're done. What the hell's going on up there? Oh my god, seven perks. Okay. Um, well, let's go, uh... I suppose we better go into diplomacy, right? Or should we just immediately kick things off? Scholarship. Immediately kick things off by starting down the path of the faith. We are going to make Elf Moramis the most faithful and uh, most spark-imbued elf we've ever had. We're going to ascend a higher than any elf before. Even the Celestials. But let's just go all in on diplomacy and learning. Diplomacy and learning. That's it. Just diplomacy and learning. Train for a tournament. Does she become strong? 46% chance. Training is impressive. No strong though. That's unfortunate. Introduce a new fashion. Sure. Why not? Why not? Live a little, huh? What's the trait? Curious. How unfortunate. It's almost like she's a grown-up. Uh, 350 prestige. Thank you. Appreciate that. But we need that, of course, to rebuild our army. So that's quite nice. Uh, do we want to do anything else? Celebrate other cultures. No, thank you. Uh, meditate and seclusion. Pets grand. We can do that. We don't need to do that, of course. We've got another perk available here. My God, let's go shield bearer. We're just going to go down row by row, I think, and tick those off. Uh, university visit. That's exactly what I was about to say we need to do next. We can also host an expedition. I need a break from Crusader Kings 3 because I've been playing for hours on end just to get this child 
through her childhood. And sadly, it was tremendously uneventful. Who'd have thought that that murder, that incidental murder, would be maybe the most character-forming thing of everything? And finally, I think this will most likely be our final character. I think that this will... Uh, the, the goal of this character is to ascend above anyone else and we'll see the state of the world and decide how we're going ahead. Now, I, I don't know if I've already mentioned this episode. Forgive me, it's been like six hours. Uh, a lot of people have said, what about making a world of elves ahead of time and then play as humans trying to take back the world? That could be quite interesting. That's certainly something we could do if we play that kind of very, very minor culture somewhere hidden in the world and we kind of try and fight our way back maybe we could come out of rome or something something like that constantinople or some sort of important site like that that could be quite fun for a future playthrough let's see what we've got going on first with our again potentially final character here thank you all for joining me hope you're enjoying a bit of elf destiny still don't forget to go and have a look on steam you can give it a like and a favorite and a comment and a subscribe and all those other good things thank you of course to the executive producer patrons for making the series possible in the first place thank you to snozza silent sentinel nidus the 17th minty mushrooms sajuk 1986 deadly black belt doctor gogolus silver altatine christopher peck Duo Mutsixa, Patrick Paulia, Night B, Phantom Volpine, Master of Worlds 22, David Turner, Bannigan, Yeatmore Jones, or Kansas, Psychofire, Eberrock, Bling Magica, Cryoxis, Higtastic, and everyone else of the executive producer tiers at Patreon. Thank you for joining me today in this very strange adventure. Thank you as well to Buckyo, Militant Millennial, Cast the Red, Green King, Gas Mask, Gabe, Kai, Crypto, Kuta Kuti, Ed, formerly a Swoller Cucumbro, Timbo Slice, Doogie Monster, Ravioli Lad, Crossy, Nature Tund, and ADD Ape as well. And I shall see you all tomorrow for probably a university visit off the bat.